right guys what's up what's up what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know me my name is amber you can call me am i really don't care for those of you who do know me welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be discussing the importance of a birth chart um what many people do not realize is that just because your sun sign is compatible with someone that does not mean you are compatible. Let me say this again. Just because your sun signs are compatible, that does not mean you are compatible. So, for instance, if you're a Libra and you think you're just so compatible with an Aquarius or a Gemini because of your sun signs, you're wrong. If you're a Virgo and you think you're just so compatible with a Taurus or a Capricorn because of your sun sign, you're wrong. This is where someone's birth chart comes into play someone's birth chart would explain so much about them for instance you may meet a leo you may meet two leos act nothing alike when it comes to love when it comes to communication energy everything that's because one god did not make us all the same and two that's because their birth charts are completely different all you need when looking at someone's birth chart is you need their name obviously not really but their name their gender um i know the website said you could use 12 p.m if you don't know their birth time but try to get their birth time for an exact reading um the city they were born in and the state they were born in that's all you need that way you can get an exact reading you know and the reason why i'm making this video is because so many people think they're compatible with tauruses gemini's Sagittarius is whatever just because their sun signs say they are compatible. That's not true. Look at someone's birth chart and then and it will explain so much. I remember in the past when I stated I was a Taurus and I was not attracted to Virgos and Capricorns. I got so many so much slack. Like, well, but you're a Taurus, you're a Taurus. That does not mean anything. That's my sun sign. But according to my birth chart, I have a very, very, very flighty birth chart, okay? I have Gemini in my birth chart, Aries in my birth chart. So when it comes to my birth chart, I'm very, very, very flighty. I get bored very fast. So me and these signs, we're just not compatible. It is what it is. That's why I said it's very, very, very important to look at someone's birth chart. Um. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me when it comes to... um. The birth chart, if you guys, you know, just need some understanding, breaking it down, you guys can email me and I will be proud to just break down their birth chart to you. If you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll be back with you soon with another video. So, peace.